Today, we'll be unlocking the King of Kings achievement in World Box. I try to break it down as simply as possible so anyone can follow along. And if you're still having issues, make sure you stick to the end because I got a couple tips there that will definitely help you get through it. And if you still have problems after that, the comments are definitely the best place to go because there's a hundred ways to become a King of Kings and everyone has their own way. So just put a comment down below and someone will help. So the first thing I want you to do is make a new map. I'm going to be using the toast map because toast is cool. And we're going to be making an orc kingdom. We'll be using orcs because orcs spawn with four traits minimum, which just makes it easy. Now open up the world laws and we're going to be unchecking a couple things just to make sure they don't die from a random meteor or just random hunger, old age, who knows? There's so many things that can go wrong. We're just going to try to make sure it's the least possible ways of things going wrong. And after we've done that, I want you to make three islands near the orc kingdom that we made. And then we're going to pull the king of that kingdom onto one of these islands. I'm trying to get him by himself. Perfect. Once we've got him there, we're going to star him so we don't lose him. We're going to bless him as well as power him up. You can find both those in the other various powers tab. Perfect. Check this out. Power up blessed and our orc had four traits. He can have up to six traits when you spawn him. We had four, which is fine. We're going to get a little more than 20 traits. So you have a little bit of a leeway here. And if you're still having problems, just stick to the end. I'll show you guys even how to spawn an orc with 10 traits to make it even easier. But it's fine if you have four traits. We'll move on with that. All right. So the first two traits we're going to try to get with this orc is going to be one eyed and crippled. And the way we're going to get it is by spawning a whole bunch of snakes around him, putting it to times five. You can do it slower if you want. I'm confident with the speed just because I've done it a few times. We don't want him to die, so we're going to go into the blood rain, also in the other various towers, and just unpause it. There's a random chance he gets either of those every time he takes damage, so we'll just let it go and just let him just keep getting his ass beat like this. Just pop, 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 pop. Okay, we'll check in on him about now. He's got the crippled trait, which is perfect. And we just let it go for... Let's say a couple more years in game. There's no specific order that he's going to get them in. It's a random chance for both of them. So you could get one eyed first. You could get crippled first. Just be a little patient. Okay. Does he have it? No, he does not. Back to the blood rain we go. It's about a one to 2% chance. Every time. So some of you guys might get lucky. It might take ten, uh, five seconds. Some of you might get unlucky. It might take five minutes. Just be patient. It's not this, this trait that causes like a variable, a variable amount of issues. There's a couple traits that you might run into a, a couple different things, but just be patient. Find your adjustment, and it's really not too difficult. We'll check in on him right about now. Perfect. Look at that. One eyed and crippled complete. Now we can pull him back or not back back onto our second island, which oh, we can heal. He'll, he'll be vet, uh, he'll be poisoned for a few more seconds, but that's something that we have to worry about just because he'll be able to get rid of it pretty quick. And he has a decent bit of health at this point. You can heal him again if you want just to make sure he doesn't die. You can save it, but we'll continue like this. We're going to shield him. And now what we're going to do is spawn in an evil mage next to him. Make sure you guys pause it because we want to give the evil mage a couple traits just to make sure that he doesn't kill our orc. So we're going to pause it. We're going to give the evil mage tiny and cursed. If you don't have tiny or cursed, there's another video on my channel to unlock all the traits. Definitely unlock those first. What tiny and cursed is going to do is make the evil mage extremely weak. So once we unpause it, we don't have to worry about our orc dying. I'm also going to shield him just because I just want to guarantee that nothing kills this guy because there's so many times there's so many things that can go wrong. We just want to make sure it's the least possible way. Perfect. We got Maid Slayer right there. And then the next thing that we're going to do is spawn a dragon next to him. Make sure you pause it again just because you never know. There's so many things that can go, there's so many things that can go wrong. We're going to make the dragon tiny and cursed as well. And once he hits him, he should kill him with ease. Perfect. 
All right, let's check him out. Dragon Slayer, Mage Slayer. He's got Veteran already. You might not have Veteran yet, but you'll get it with a, you get Veteran by killing units. And if you don't have it, you'll get it within the next step. So let's see. Now, what I want you to do is spawn a kingdom next to him. And what we want to do is pull, or not pull them yet. But we, we want to use Whispers of War of the the kingdom that our orc is the king of and whisper it into the kingdom that we just spawned. Perfect. So then he should have a Whispers of War trait, voices in my head. Perfect. All right. Now we can shield him. And we want to use the magnet tool. We're trying to get Kingslayer. Okay, I gotta wait until the king comes out. He's currently inside, I believe. Okay, perfect. Okay, hold up. I don't want to pull too many that I get him killed. Okay, that, that's a decent bit of them. So let me slow it down for a second. Let me shield him. Okay. Perfect. He's got the evil mage staff, so he's extremely powerful at this point. That At this point, that should have definitely given him veteran if you don't have it yet and on top of that you should have gotten kingslayer which is perfect okay so the next couple traits that we are going to be aiming for are going to be wise and golden tooth and the way you get wise and golden tooth is just by age you have to be a minimum age 45 and our orc is currently age 33 so what i'm gonna do is I'll probably put it in sonic speed for a little bit. You could just let it run on times five, but I want to leave the video completely uncut. So I'm going to put it on sonic speed just so we can speed up and get to 45 real, real quick. Yeah, you want to make sure he doesn't die. I got my eye on him like real close. I want to, oh, who is that? I can't make sure no boat, no boat can get close to this guy. All right, he just hit a little over, okay, so 40 for wise, which he got. And we got to let it run for a few more years. Once he reaches 45, you got to, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how many years it takes. There's like a random chance every year after 45 that he'll get it. So we'll just let it run and he should get it and just like that. Perfect. Okay. We can go off Sonic speed now and you should be up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 traits at this point. And what we'll be doing is spawning a whole bunch of tumors next to him which is under the animal tab yeah right here we also want to make sure he doesn't die in this point either and once he has the tumor trait you're gonna be he'll turn into he'll literally turn into a tumor and you'll you won't be able to get the tra the achievement so after you you unpause it from this point out there's going to be an in-game time limit. That's why I put it on times uh, times one. So we can pause it in between and make sure that he doesn't turn into a tumor before we run out of time. So we'll get out the blood rain trait. Make sure he doesn't die. Put some blood rain on him and just let the tumors hit him until until he gets the tumor trait. We could we could definitely speed it up a little bit more. It's a it's a little slow right now. I'm hoping he gets it pretty quick otherwise this could cause some problems I don't think it's that hard to get he just he just has to get hit a couple of times from the tumors which is um what is the he's causing fires too which is I'm kind of worried I definitely don't want him to die so yeah make a save point guys just in case so I'll show you guys actually how to make a save point. So the way you do it is go to your worlds. You can just pick one. And then you do King of Kings save. And just save it like that. So now if he dies, I, I can just kind of come back and worry about the same problem again, <laughs> but in a different way. Okay, let me refresh this island with a bunch of tumors. Let me give him some health and let me pull him pull him back out onto the island okay it's 
let it go for a little bit. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Does he have it yet? He's killing them pretty, really quick, so that's the problem. Oh, I don't even think that's a problem to be. I'm not even gonna call it a problem. We, I just wanna be really careful here, to be honest, as well. Where's the tumors again? Okay. Tumors spawn back in. Back to the healing. Just keep the healing on them. Let's check them. Perfect, tumor infection achieved. Whew. We also got skin burns while getting tumor and you get skin burns very easily by burning yourself with fire or by standing on the fire you made with the evil mage's staff. That's how I got it, but if you don't get it while using the evil mage's staff, just throw some fire on you, make sure you don't die and just keep healing yourself and you'll get skin burns very easily. Okay, I thought we might have a problem and run into a... Okay, so I paused it. We don't, we don't wanna let this run for too, too much. Okay, so now what we wanna do is, let me get these snakes out of here. I want to pull him onto the island by himself. Perfect. Let's heal him. He's got tumor. We're going to give him mush spores. As well as uh, plague. As well as zombie infection. Unpause it. <laughs> That's a whole bunch of traits right there. And then we'll be shielding him. Where's the... Or not not yet, actually. I think... Where's his health? 570? Okay, we're good. We're going to be getting the lightning trait. Zapping him. Check his health. He doesn't have it yet. Okay, we can, we can zap him a couple times, actually. Where'd he go? I'm so scared right now. I don't want to kill him. So let me, where's the magnet tool? Let's heal him up. Zap, zap, zap. Dang, I'm not. No, I killed him. Okay, no worries, no worries. If you kill him, just... <laughs> Does load up your world? Dang. That was, uh... Oh, that was before the tumor. Alright, no worries, no worries, guys. Just be patient. We're gonna spawn some more tumors in. Hopefully he gets it... Not too easily. Wow, thank God we made a save point there. That would have been so tragic. Okay. Let me click on him. He doesn't have it yet. Go back to the tumors. Every time he burns them down. I, well, at least we know that he can definitely get it. So even if we run into problems this time, I know we can do it. Pause it. Keep healing him. All right. Oh, I kind of saw him shake. He might. What's he at? Okay, half health. Let me get the blood rain back out. Come on, tumors. Just one of you. Just keep healing him. We'll, we'll let it run for a little bit now. Hopefully he gets it with... Ugh. Come on, bro. Oh. Nope. Dang, I wonder how many kills he has at this point. <laughs> he definitely has, has so many kills. It's gotta be the thousand. I'm... Oh, wait, hold up. Before I get him killed again. 
I don't even know how he died. I think I I shot him out of bounds and he died. I didn't even know you could die that way. That was so tragic. Because there's no reason. He didn't die by uh, a perfect tumor infection. Whew. Thank God. Okay, let's pull him. Not to the edge this time. And... Let's pull him here. I think what I did was I was able to shield him. And then... Well, before I do that, let's give him spores. We gotta do the same thing, right? We'll give him spores. We'll give him zombie infection. We'll give him plague. Right? And then we'll give him a shield. And then zap him. A few times. Let's let me try a couple more times. Okay. Was that it? Oh, energized and immortal. We got K King of Kings unlocked, boys. Did you guys see it too? Or did I just get it? Okay, perfect. Nice. Ooh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So one more trait that you can get if you didn't unlock it yet is you can curse him, which is right here. We're going to curse him as well. Once you curse him, he'll lose the king status. But that's like the last one you can give him to kind of boost it on top. That should be a total of one, two, I, I don't even know how I'm going to be able to count this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty two traits. Twenty two traits and King of Kings achieved, boys. If you guys ran into any more issues, just leave a comment down below and we'll help you sort through it. A couple extra tips I can give you right now are once when you spawn in orcs, what you can do is here, I'll just show you guys slightly what you can do. Here's a bunch of orcs that you spawned in in your map, let's say. You can go into Gamma Rain, select all of the random traits. The, these have to be the spawn chance traits that you give them. Make sure you don't give them immunity or any traits that prevent other traits. For example, if, if, uh, if your king has the plague trait, he can't be uh, immortal. So make sure or energized, I believe. So make sure there's a proper order of traits that you have or you don't have an orc that you're starting with that has traits that interfere, interfere with other traits. So if you're having an issue, keep that in mind. That could be the issue that you're having. But here, we'll continue with this part. You gather up a bunch of traits that you can spawn in with. You can put up a bunch of, you can put like 30 to 40 traits up in that. Load it up with as many as you can. Put it in the gamma, gamma rain and then just throw it on. Throw it on all of these orcs. They should have it. Now, since you edited them, they're gonna have Scar of Divinity right but the thing is if they have kids their kids will not have scar of divinity so they'll be eligible for the king of kings achievement and every single trait that they have their kids are gonna, are gonna have a chance to retain those traits so you can spawn in orcs that start with 10 11 12 traits and none of these traits we didn't give anyone attractive we didn't get anyone fast we didn't get anyone eagle-eyed we didn't get anyone fat none of these traits are traits that we obtained on our way to 22 so you could just spawn in with an orc with 10 and only have to do six less traits than we, what I just showed in the beginning and you'll get King of Kings way faster if you're having an issue. What you, well, yeah, so once you spawn them in, the kingdom's gonna go, you're gonna have to let them make babies. They don't make babies instantly, there's an age, so you do have to let it run for a little bit and I do it in a controlled way, but that is what you do. They're splitting up and stuff right now just because it's a little chaos, but once they have babies and stuff, you just gotta, you just gotta look around for the baby. You see, we found a guy that we edited of course, just make sure they don't have the Scar of Divinity and just as many of these traits as possible. And another thing is, if you spawn in orcs, here I'll just spawn in a few, you'll notice that this one has four traits, this one has five traits. So you could have just used, I, I, I believe I used a four trait orc, but you could have just used this guy and he would have had one more trait in the beginning. You could just keep looking and this one also has five, this one also has five. 
This one also has five. It's pretty common to have five traits, so I would say at least start with five. You can just keep searching, start with six as well. So that's another trait, or uh, another tip, I mean. The, the, another tip is make sure you guys are saving, just cause my goodness, keep dying and dying. And other than that, honestly, I'll, I'll leave it to the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed and were able to become a King of Kings as well. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Make sure you guys leave a like. Peace.